so I read it from front to back, sober, giving it out in the middle of the desert, alone, warrior thing. I hope I heal, but I just feel like I've been beaten mentally and physically and went through all my hell all over again. The woman in the novel, the foundation of her was real. I did meet somebody back home. And I did feel the way I feel about her in that novel. But it was also overwhelming going back and people not knowing what happened to me. And she lied to me. And I let her. And there was a voice back in my head. She would keep saying, just wait until her divorce, her boyfriend that she had. Wait until she broke up with him. Wait until my kids graduate. I just want my kids back talking to me. And she kept lying and lying. And I knew she was lying to me, but I guess I needed to believe in something to get through all of that. But I did remember being in love with her in the beginning. And I truly do believe in those things. I kept hoping when the book was done, we'd be together. And she even lied to me about that. I was about to be finished, and I begged her just to tell me the truth that she wanted me and I could come back. And she said, okay. And then I finished the book, and she never, ever talked to me again. Ever. My mom doesn't talk to me either, because I wrote this. It's not that she hates me. It's just too much for her, being a mom. I sacrificed so very much trying just to accomplish that. And then on the bucket list was do a movie. I didn't tell anybody what the movie was going to be. The movie is me reading this thing sober. And staying sober. Uh, it's three, four months now since I'm sober. And I'm devastated. My pain is phenomenal right now. I don't have my weed or my shrooms or anything that brings me back to the happy Dana that you all love. This is this is it. And I knew what I was doing when I went through this. I obviously didn't know it was going to be this nightmarish and horrible. And I had people lie to me when I was sober. I don't know why this person did this. But after I read the dog story, the mojo bag story, and I've been out here alone trying to do this and be a warrior and sober. And somebody offered me a dog. <laughs> I thought this person was different. And man, they really sold it. And I had met that dog before, and I, it was a prank. But I said, yes, I'll, I'll, I'll take the dog, and I even gathered up money, one of my family members, to go get the dog. And she never talked to me again. And I called the, the animal shelter, and they were like, no, that dog can't be out in the desert. Where No. I don't know why somebody would do that to somebody. But that almost crushed me. As I'm trying to read. Get the fuck off me. As I'm trying to read through this book. And there was folks that said, oh, we're here for you, for your sobriety. And all you have to do is reach out. Reach out to us and we'll be there for you. I don't cash them cards in lightly. But I reached out. And they weren't there. And I sucked it up and said, only you can fix you. And there's a reason why this is happening. 
I still believe in true love and the soul singing together. I don't know if I'll ever find it again because I was truly crushed and devastated by how that woman did that. I was truly crushed and devastated when I believed I had a good friend that was helping me find a dog. I've had a lot of people message me hateful stuff, thinking I was faking all of this or whatever. My reply is, fuck you. You tried it. I don't know if I'm going to heal from this or not, or if I'm going to have a mental breakdown and just walk out in that desert and never come back. I honestly don't fucking know yet. I have a lot to look forward to, though. I have a good home good friends. I lost a lot of friends since I've sobered up trying to do this. That's okay. They don't want me in their life anyway. I don't fit in their life. That's one of the things that I had to accept. Most of the people I know have families and children and grandchildren at this point. I have myself. And all the voices in my head. And me being the crazy entertainer thing that I am. That's what I have. And it's hard to fit into a world where everybody needs to be in a box. And you have to have, you gotta have things. And you, you just gotta have things. And all I want is peace. From the man that put my turtle in the garbage disposal. All those people that beat the fucking shit out of me. And it wasn't my fault. But you don't find peace when you go through that much violence. What you can find is a balance. I'm going to stop this recording. It's going to take days for all these videos to load up onto the YouTube thing. I don't know what I'm going to do next. It'd be nice to sit in a nice big bathtub, eat a big old bacon cheeseburger and a big old pizza and a big old thing of fries and eat a big old jar of medicinal gummy bears and smoke pot till I fall asleep for three days. That's probably not going to happen, though. So I'll just keep working out here, letting the bugs eat me up. Knowing I did accomplish this too, I'm still sober. I don't want a fucking grave. I'll check that off the list for later. But that's it for the conclusion. I think I've put you all through enough already. And you all probably don't want to hear from me for a long time now. And that's okay. I understand. I'm used to that. Sometimes I don't want to hear from myself either. I hope this heals people that need it. Because this was raw and I didn't censor any of this shit. And I barely remember reading this fucking book. I remember everything else. Alright, fuck it. That's it. Keep moving forward.